Morning y'all, it's Julie the Gulf Coast Stitcher. Today's Wednesday, February 13th, and it's my first post-market video. Uh, market was insane. Thank you all so much for everyone who um, supported my small business, who was patient, who is still being patient. Um, I will say that it was a blur. Um, it was exciting. I can't wait to do it again next year. We did learn some things that will make the process a little smoother for us next year and I mean that's how it goes right you learn what you want to do what you did right and what you could do better so we have a notebook we're working on it we're keeping uh, notes on ideas and and just different ways we can bring even better service to you guys so I want to say a special thank you to Sarah and Robbie who were my um, all my hands really I'm a mess when it comes to like setting things down, not knowing where something is. Just having the the them there to be like the steady here here's where you set your notebook down. That's a whole there's a whole story behind that. Um and just to help, you know, just to be there with me. I mean, it's overwhelming. It takes so many hands. I will say the most insane part of every time that you go in a room is just the checkout process because you're taking so much in, you're trying to get out of other people's way, and you're trying to keep up with, did I get the right amount that I ordered? Did I get, did I give them, you know, am I paying for this the way I want to? Just all the things. It, it was very, um, it was very helpful for the designers who took pre-orders. That was awesome. Special shout out to Janine McGowan, who was definitely the homecoming queen of market. Um, you know her as the designer for the blue flower, and I was so grateful to know that my giant box of, and it was a giant box, of charts for her was there safe, and I didn't have to worry about, like, running there and getting everything, and they were already paid for, boxed up, ready for me when I got there, so that was super awesome. Thanks, Janine. Um, a couple other designers did the same. One thing, um, and I'm not going to beat the market horse to death because you guys have watched all the videos by now. I'm a little late getting this posted because I've been so busy shipping. One thing that um, we're asked to provide feedback. So I had two, two kind of two feedbacks um, opportunities, I guess. I wouldn't even call them criticisms because what do I know? Uh, one thing was that the designers were not closed at all on Saturday. Their rooms were open the whole time which kind of created a twofold problem. One, as a buyer, you're trying to get to every single room before, number one, they run out of product, or two, they're, they're closed because it's the end of the day. There's definitely more rooms to get to than there is time to get to it if you didn't have your pre-orders. Like, if you could just walk in, pick your stuff up, and go. I did that with, um, I picked my stuff up from Susie Reno Shakespeare's Ped in the Shakespeare's Peddler Room. I, bet I didn't even have time to talk to Teresa, which made me sad because I love her. Hey, Teresa. We passed each other in the hallway, and she was like, if you get a chance, come by and say hey. But I had to dash because I couldn't get everywhere that I wanted to, everywhere I wanted to be. So the fact that they, the designers can't close for lunch, it, it kind of, like I said, it's a twofold issue because you don't, like it's 12, 30, 1 o'clock, you're hungry, but you don't want to stop for an hour and go downstairs and eat because you've got to get to those shops and then when you get to the shops, the designers are hungry, thirsty, they haven't had a chance to even, you know, get their wits about them. Uh, so my, one of my feedbacks was I thought it would be great for Market to, for Yarn Tree to schedule like 1230 to 130 or whatever for the, the suites to be closed. Just like they schedule an open time and a closed time. And the designers that I, that I talked to about that, they were like, oh my gosh, it would be amazing to have a break. And they can just kind of regroup, restock, eat, re-energize, do some meditation if that's their thing. Whatever it is, just kind of get their wits about them. So then, as a buyer, you wouldn't feel like you were missing out and you could stop and eat lunch, right? Because I was running on fumes. If you all watch the videos, you know we were going on three hours of sleep, four hours of sleep, um, surviving on water and Hershey Kisses that were randomly placed throughout the market. Um, and I still, as, as, as much as we did, we still didn't get to every single room we wanted to. So I think there was maybe four places I wanted to get to that I didn't, which is not a huge deal because I can get to those people online. But I would have loved to have had a little bit more time. Um, and hopefully next year more designers will take pre-orders. And some of them, 
didn't send out like mass communications that they would take pre-orders, but from the experienced shops, they already have that relationship. They had all that taken care of. So that was one thing that I think could have been um, improved on is just a, a break for everybody during the day. And the second thing was that I definitely feel like there should be like, if you, I don't know how to, I don't know how I worded it. It sounded really eloquent in my email, <laughs> but basically like, there was a few rooms that I was in where the shop representative who was in line in front of me bought 60 or 70 charts quantity of each thing, which wiped, depleted the, I mean, it just depleted everything for everybody else, which the, for the designers, that's fantastic. Like, yay, they don't want to take anything home and they're happy that their stuff is getting out into the world, right? But I feel like that Yarn Tree could have needlework retailer, whoever's in charge of this actually, could have maybe said, you know, as a courtesy, if you're going to order more than 40 charts per design, um, please do a pre-order. Something like that. Because there was a few rooms, like, they didn't open on Friday night. For early bird shopping they were only open saturday and there was three of us and we can split up and we still couldn't have got to all the gotten done before they all were out of quantity does that make sense i know that was a lot of words but anyway um i just think like if you're going to order more than 50 or 60 of one item that it'd be nice to have it'd be nice for the designers to have the heads up and it would be nice for all the other shops to have the opportunity to buy something because yeah but anyway not, not to worry, the designers were all amazing. Anybody who ran out of stock was more than willing to ship stuff. A lot of them have to be reprinted first and then shipped, which causes the delay. So if you're waiting, if your order has um, Teresa Kogut, it's already in the mail. She sent me my tracking information. Um, I did get quite a bit of hers, but some of her... Um, most popular, like, I think Believe was one of the most popular ones, it's the San a Santa. Um, she had to reprint those real quick and get them out, but they're on the way. So if your order is still here, it's because you have um, pre-ordered item. What am I saying? Back-ordered items. Um, the Scarlet House is one that said that um, she was not shipping back-ordered stuff, that we'd have to get it through Hoffman, which is fine. I order from Hoffman every single week, so... Um, I'm just stalking their site to see when the Scarlet House gets loaded. So Scarlet House and Teresa Kogut um, and a few others were just ran out really quick, which I'm super, super happy for them. And the way that they um, reacted to being out of stock was awesome. So that's enough about that. All right, what else do I have to tell you? I'm going to look at my notes on my phone. And da, 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 da. Okay, Floss Club. I may have said this already. Um, it's a little bit late, but has all been shipped unless you've made any special arrangements with me or you missed your invoice and you've contacted me. Those have all gone out. They're about a week and a half late, but hey, I'm a one-woman show when it comes to shipping. I am so blessed that I had the extra hands at market, but when I come home and everybody else goes about their life, it's just me um, taking care of all this and, you know, still being a mom and still, and Sarah had a birthday, 18th birthday in the middle of all that and also school. So yeah, it took a little while, but everything's out. As far as that goes, next year, I think one thing that I learned is that we will be skipping Floss Club for um, March next year, if markets, the dates are the same. It's just insane, insanity. I think I posted on my Facebook page, one day my stamps.com count was at 342 packages. It's like, it just gives me too many rooms to make, too much room to make mistakes when I'm trying to manage that many. So I'm sure everybody will understand. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. I have two finishes since market. Can you believe it? And this is, I'm just sitting down for like an hour or two at night before I pass out. This was one of my very favorite charts from market. This, I don't even know how to say it. How do you say that? Rodier, I don't know. It's cute. That's all I can tell you. So um, this is from Summer House Stitchworks. It is... So cute. And I stitched it in sulky threads. 
So everybody who bought sulkies or is on the waiting list for sulkies, I, I still have some sulkies to list onto the site. I just haven't had time. And today I won't have time because when I finish this video, I'm going to school. So this is one strand of sulky over two linen threads on 32 count. So I love it. Look, the, I don't I don't know what number sulky this is. I bought the full set because I'm a I'm a completist. Um, I just love this, and I'll get close. Y'all can see There's, that's good coverage. So love love love, and available on the site. Actually, I don't know if I listed these yet either. I'm trying, y'all. I have so much to list, but this is the finishing kit. This is available only at Market. So if your shop didn't go to Market. You could probably order it directly from the designer, but it's not distributed through Hoffman or anything. I'm trying to get my hands on it. So this is this is for a needle book. So this will be the the interior fabric. Ah, love it! And it comes with a little grungy tie and a piece of wool and a little charm. So this is going to Robbie. So she can sew it like that. She could do that on her sewing machine and probably like instantaneously, right? I shouldn't feel bad about sending that because she's quick. She hemmed a whole dress for me in like a day, so I'm sure she can do that for me. She's amazing like that. I'm glad y'all got to see sneak peeks of Robbie here and there. I talk about her all the time. And it was fun to, we joked that she's like, what was Sarah called her? She's like a Yeti. Like she appear out of nowhere. So next year there's going to be like a little flat Robbie, like flat Stanley on a stick, and we'll see if you can find the daily Robbie. Um, I love this. I stitched this in one night. This is da, 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 boop, bop, beep. This is She Works Wool by Lucy Beam. So cute. I don't know how I'm going to finish it yet. I think that is adorable, but I don't have that little. I don't have that guy, but I stitched this in. I stitched it in the called for colors, except the sheep itself is in the brand new um, Gentle Arts color, and I want to say it's called Harbor Fog, but I'll verify that before we get done with the video here. I just thought it looked really sheepish, woolish. So she works well. So cute. So I don't know how I'm going to finish that. So those are two finishes that I've gotten despite the insanity of my life. I've sit down in my chair by 8 o'clock at night and from 8 to 9, that's what has happened. So I thought I would go through, hold please. I thought I would just run through rather than do like a shop update because I have a zillion new things for market. I have so many more things that aren't even listed yet. And some of them are like oddities that I think, I, I shouldn't call them oddities, but things that weren't so popular, that weren't sold out, that were by designers I've never seen before that I think you guys will enjoy. So that'll be in a future video because some of them aren't even on the site yet. So this I'm going to go through my haul. What did I manage to bring home? Uh, so first thing, I showed this on Instagram. This came from Elizabeth's Needlework Design. Her mother stitched, was a prolific stitcher who stitched for like 50 years or something and she passed away and she was going through all her stuff and she just couldn't keep everything and she didn't want it to go to the Goodwill and she didn't want to just donate things. She wanted it to go, like we all do, wanted her things to go to people who love stitching and would appreciate it and she said, you know, this was really pretty but it's just not my colors and I'll never use it so she had it for sale. So it's Hardanger Cutwork. And, I mean, it's om ombre, is that how you say that? Look at that. And, it holds my business cards. So, while I was losing everything else at market, I did have my business cards. And it has a little snap. I just love it. So, I was so happy to have that. And she gave us her mother's name. Her mother was a designer for years and years. And I don't have it in front of me right now. But, my plan is to... Um, stitch or back stitch or ask somebody else to do it her mother's name inside this so I don't forget I've already forgotten how horrible is that look at that 
Anyway, so I thought that was super pretty. I liked it. It spoke to me. She had maybe three items by her mom that were still available when we got to her room. Okay. This bag. Ah, Beth Twist gave it to me. I don't know if she'll sell them one day or not, but, um, or if she even sells them now. It says, I generally don't have a problem with counting. Look how cute. So I just use it to put some of my market fabric in. Some of this is just Ada that I needed for projects. Okay. A couple of designers. One designer, I think it was at Michelle's, Michelle's Inc. Does that sound right? She, she actually, the bags that you bought her charts in were actually fabric sacks that she bought. That she didn't buy, that she made. So I thought that was so cool. So I'm going to keep these and use them for something because they'll I'll remember that they came from Market. So I thought that was neato. So I kept those. Okay, fabric wise. Let's see. That's what I have in this bag. 32 count bramble from Picture This Plus. It's a it's really I'm wearing a green shirt and the light's weird, but it's like got a light pinkish and greenish color to it. I love it. Have no idea what I'm gonna put on it. I kind of think I'm gonna do the Scary Apothecary series on that. So I didn't do any video in Kathy Hoverman's um, room because so busy all the time, and you know. I think Sarah did a few lives in there, but not everybody who's in there shopping wants to be on camera, number one. That's a prop that was like something you have to be considerate of. And there were a few. So she basically was like, please don't show anything that hasn't been released yet on your videos or your pictures. And I know people didn't listen to that because the whole Scary Apothecary series is available to be seen on videos and camera and pictures. I didn't take pictures of it or um anything but I can tell you that that was one of that was one of my favorite finished when I saw that all the way they were done the way they were stitched it it was one of those moments where when you see it in real life it's like okay this has to happen I have to do this I split this piece with Robbie this is a um, fabrics by Stephanie gingerbread 32 count I love it. I love the I love this co this color like the I wouldn't even call it gingerbready. I don't know what that yellowish. I love it. I already had that. So that was just downstairs. And then this is forty count belt. If I picture this plus thirty six count belt. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, I think I'm going to put this guy is so pretty. Look at that. I think I might put Lady Justice on this, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I love it. So the one thing that we learned insider tip is that fabric sells out in the first, like, I think it was sold out like the first 30 minutes on Friday night. When we went into the picture of this plus room, there was some fabric, mostly 40 count, 46 count. Um, there were some stuff left. And their, their entire bedroom portion of their room were just bags full that people were going to come back later and pay for. So as a beginner, a new a new shop to market, I didn't know that was an option. Um, I don't know that I would have fought through the crowd to get in there to have everything. I mean, when I say their whole room, it was on their beds. They were like, we don't know where we're going to sleep tonight. There's stuff everywhere. And we went to Stephanie's room. She had like five pieces of fabric left. Friday night, it was insanity. So yeah, that stuff sold out really fast, which I'm not a brick and mortar store, so having a bunch of stock of fabric is not a big deal to me. I have more fabric than I will ever stitch on in this lifetime. In fact, I need to do a de-stash. I've said that 20 times if you watch my videos in the past. Um, I need to, I need to de-stash. I just buy everything by the yard and then I use a quarter and then it just sits there and then I want all the new colors, and I'm in the Fabric of the Month clubs, and blah, blah, blah. I need to de-stash some. So, maybe one day. Maybe one day when I have time. Harbor Gray. That's what that was called. I said Harbor Fog. Harbor Gray. So, 
the new picture. Oh, well, there's duplicates here. I'm just going to hold them up because I bought myself two sets. These are all the new gel arts. They are, I have some packs available on my website. Um, there are six new colors, so some of these are duplicates. And they're showing pretty true. That purple is a stunner. I'm not a purple person, but I love that. Um, and then this one, something blue. It reminds me of vintage lace, but in the blue colorway. It's so pretty. So these are um, available in packs of one of each of the new colors. So packs of six on my shop site. Uh, I sold quite a few yesterday, but I know there's still some available. So that's it for fabric. Hey, that was pretty good, right? I didn't go insane with the fabric. I think I'm going to do the scary apothecary on the belt, on the bramble. That would be pretty. Okay, so that's that. I'm so thirsty today. It's an overcast day, but it's hot. I know y'all don't want to hear that. My Midwestern friends, let me, let me tell you how hot it is. Don't be mad. I don't know. I'm going to say it's in the 70s. No. No, I can't see that. 70. 70 degrees. And humid. You know you're in Florida when you like take a shower and then you blow dry your hair and you feel like you just took a shower again. So this is my goodie bag. Most of this stuff is all available on the site unless it has sold out. Which I haven't sold out to of too many items because I bought a ton. Crinkle, crinkle. Okay. I'm going to go fast because I got stuff to do today. Most of this is available on the site. Some, I'll try to tell you. This is not available because I bought the last one. This is a scissor box. How cute is that from La Dida? And... It comes with all the parts and you build it yourself. So that, I got the last one, so I couldn't bring any more back for you guys with that. Just talked about these. And you know what, Kathy's, Kathy's pictures are amazing, but what you can't get out of these pictures is the vibrancy. Like I'm telling you, that purple and that lime green is popping. It looks kind of muted in the pictures. They're not, they're super bright, so cute. Um, I'm trying to think of a way that I could stitch them all in one piece, but the shapes are really weird. So I think what I could do, tell me what you think about this. I think I could invert them and just turn the words upside down. Does that make sense? And like the birds so that they would be like this going this way and then this could butt up. I don't want to bend my chart, but you know what I mean? And run them across one band. You think I could do that? I'm not very creative. That's why I like cross stitch. <laughs> I have the desire to create, but I'm not intuitively creative, so I just follow a chart, right? But I think that would work. I just have to flip them upside down, and then, huh? We'll see. That's an idea. Black dog sampler. Oh, this is so cute. Um, I love red samplers. I love red letters. I love weather veins, which this is reminiscent of a vein to me. I'm sure that's not what it's meant to be, but that's what I see. I had a black lab for 14 years. Ani, sweet boy, passed away in 2014. Um, so everything about this is cool. And I love you could just do a little bit. You, you would feel like you were getting somewhere with this. So this is available on the site. This is Julia Fletcher, 1847. So it is one, two, three charts. This is so stinking cute. If you, I, someone out there needs to school me. In the comments, I know that y'all know a lot more about samplers than I do. These type of letters, this type of font is my jam. And I'm drawn to anything that's just rant, like listed alphabets in that font. I need to know more about that. So. Super cute. Here we go. Here's another one. Stacy Nash. This is Harriet Brown. This is finished as a roll. Like when you see it in person, it's like yay big. But um, you could just, I'm just going to put it in frame because it's a red alphabet. One of my very favorites. 
This is Elf House scissor case. So she has, this is Romy Creations from Italy. She has all the different scissor case houses. I mean, they're so stinking cute. Um, she was out of everything except for this one. And because it's a new release, she had plenty. And one that's a dog. But it comes with a wooden charm. Look at him for your scissors. And I have the floss packs available. Her hand dyed floss. Like I said, it's amazing. I probably have one right here. Because I got one for myself. This is the floss. Look at those colors. I absolutely love these. And let me tell you, she was working her tail off. She got separated from her luggage. Her luggage did not get to her until Friday at like 6.15. And the early bird shopping started at 6. I already had a pre-order for this. When I got there to pick it up, she was like, I'm still trying to make floss packs because I just got my floss. So, love that. Stacy Nash Primitives. This is 1806 Manor House Sewing Roll. And some of these are not new releases. I think this was that. No, this is 2019. Um, why am I obsessed with scissor rolls and book booklets and anything red? I don't know. But I am. So, I might start this next, as a matter of fact. Do, do, do. Weeks Dye Works Threads. I can sub that out as, with whatever I want. Right? I have a lot of weeks anyway. Alright, I'm putting that, I'm setting that to the side because that might be my third start. This is not a new one, but I loved it. Silver Creek Samplers, let me tell you, Diane was so nice in person. This is not new either, but why did I not know this existed? Sweet Marmalade is what, um, okay, it says, This tiny mouse lives in a house beneath the berry shade. He gathers up the ripest fruit and makes sweet marmalade. 2015, Diane Grick. Look at that. He's wearing, he's a mouse wearing clothes. Jennifer, whistle stop. He's in your pile already. Don't fret, girl. Because I know you got a thing for rats. He's a mouse, but whatever. I'm into it. I feel like Amy Loves Toads is going to like this. I don't know why. There's not a toad on it, but I saw it and I was like, ooh, Amy's going to love this. So this is Creepy Treats. Um, Anna Lee Waite was a new designer to me. She was my very first room that we went in and I broke the seal with the purchasing from her and um, you're going to see more of her stuff in my pile here. This is so cute. I don't even like bugs, but I mean, I like that. Teresa Kogut. Rosy Cheeks on Prey. Teresa Kogut's Patriotic Santa. Got wool. Why am I? I'm, and I'm going to use that new gentle arts color for that because I really like it. I'm into wool. I'm into like woolen things this year. I don't know why. I live in Florida. I'm not into wool. Coffee Drinker's Confession. We love, we know and love Beth Twist. Beth, I love you so much. Thank you for um, reminding me to hydrate. She had a sign that said stay hydrated and I had a split and headache by the middle of the second day, and I'm sure it was because I was dehydrated. Um, Beth is is warm and sweet in person, as you would expect her to be. Nothing, that's an old chart. This I have on the site, too. This is also from Romy. You can't really get how cool this is until you see it in person. So, it's wood blocks. You piece them together. You stitch on this side. She's got a few different um, ideas that different seasonal ideas in the chart that you can stitch it on and then you put a little electric votive like little electric tea light in it and it backlights the cutouts it's so cute so I do have maybe six of these left and they were market exclusive once they're gone they're gone um but so cute <gasps> ah love this Lucy Beam stitch always this is her little she has a I don't, what'd you call it, her logo? Becky. I'm a mess. Um, her sign has this sweet little tomato head, pin head lady on it. <laughs> I love it. So, yeah. That, that's going in the sooner than later pile. More Lucy Bean. Honeysuckle sampler. Because red and letters. More Lucy Bean. I overlooked this. Um, 
Sarah was the one that spotted it, I think. This was made into a wreath, which it kind of is in the picture. Can't really see it that well. It was hanging on her door, which her door was open. So we're just coming in to say hello and, and shop around. And then when we went back and looked at it, um, it was fantastic. And I believe there's some beads on this. Bop, bop, bop. I can't see it. Yes, Mill Hill beads. I feel like there was a little bit of beading throughout the garland. But that's up to you. Do your own thing. So cute. Chessie and me. These, this is just my pile. They're in no, these are in no specific order. Um, Friends of the Mill by Chessie and me. Meeting her. She was so nice. She was so totally shocked at... We were on Instagram Live, and I think in her room we had like 100 viewers. And people were interacting with Sarah and then interacting with her via Sarah. And she was just amazed. Like, she, she couldn't get over it. She loved the response that y'all had to her charts. And if you were waiting on the needle case, it just came in today. So I'll get to it probably tomorrow. Get, get it out as soon as I get back from school. This video is going to upload while I'm already on the commute to school. It takes me about 45 minutes to get to school each way. Super cute. Also, this looks kind of faded out in the picture. It's much more vibrant in real life, as, as per usual. Ah, uh, here we go again. It's, th it's this type of letter. Somebody who knows something about samplers, tell me why, what this is about. Why am I into this? I know that, I know, I know Scottish sampler lettering when I see it. I don't know what this type is, but I'm into it. Mary Ann England. So, just all stitched in Garden Gate, which is my favorite floss color. I wish it wasn't because it can be hard to get sometimes, but it is my favorite. Home of a Needle Worker squared. So this is the fourth. Yeah, this is the fourth Home of a Needle Worker, and this is Home of a Needle Worker squared. It's not a very big chart, and it comes with the new... It comes with... Does this come with all the colors? Sticks and twigs... Yes. I think it, yeah, it comes with all the colors you need. So not just the new ones. So that's a deal. Available on the site. La-dee-da. Three lilies. See, these letters look a little Scottishy to me. I could be... I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not a... I'm not an expert. I know what I like to look at. That's the best I can tell you. This has got to go in the sooner rather than later pile because... Look, more letters. This is Scottish. This lettering is Scottish. Oh, look, it even says so. Mm. Bless our home. This is much bigger in real life. 289 by 233. It looks... that That's the thing. Like, these two charts don't look that different in size. They super are. I love this tree. I had a fit when I saw that this was going to be released at market because I was not in the club and I did not get to get it and I didn't want to pay insane in prices on Stash Unload to get it and I was so excited when I saw that it was being released. Eee. So cute. American Farmhouse. Quilt squares. Jennifer. Whistle stop. Quilt squares. Look, more lettering that I was attracted to. This is a uh, Isabella Donald sampler from the Primitive Hair. I'm assuming it was, uh, I don't know. I don't know if it was an original design by her, but it was the only one. She had one left and I took it, so you won't find that on the site. I have some of these still available listed for sale. These are the Heartstring Samplery stickers. So you got Red House, Adam and Eve. Coffee. Cross Stitch Nation. That's the four. Mm -mm -mm. Beep, up, up. Okay. I don't even see that I. If I get. If I find Squirrels of Sumatra in my pile here, these are the new Gloriana. This color is called Pecan. I'm sure. 
Acorns. Don't listen to me. I don't know anything. This is Acorns by Gloriana. It's 12 stranded silk. It takes five skeins to stitch the squirrels of Sumatra. I have two sets of five of these available. They should, yeah, they're on the site already, I think. If not, send me a message. Um, even if you don't want to stitch that chart, they're beautiful. You can really get the variegation there. Um, great to have in your stash. They're Gloriana, so they're $8 to skein, but love them. My cotton cotton. This did not come from market, but it was here when I got home. It was a stitchy kindness. Yay! So y'all know I love Scenic Farm. We all love. Michelle Rudy made us fall in love with that. And this is, I would call this a companion piece just because it's kind of matchy. Um, but I love this. So thank you very much to my wonderful stitchy friend who gifted me that. Better put this down in the chair before it tumps over. Tump. That's a, tumping over is a, um, Definitely, by definition, a southern uh, way to fall over. Linda Jo, I'm down with it, girl. Let's do it. And all things being seemingly, be exceedingly diligent. This has been sold out at Hoffman ever since Linda Jo made me want to buy it. And I walked into Need to Work Press and bingo, bingo, they were sitting there. So I have several copies of that. Look at that. Liberty and justice for all. These are little pin pillows. I'm not doing them that way. I'll do them all in a row. Sooner rather than later pile. Sister Suffragette. Um, these buttons in real life are yay big. So much bigger than you would think. Like when you think of a vote or vote I voted or voter button, I think of like little tiny buttons. These are big. The, I would say the template is like the size of the lid of a mason jar, which is what I will use as a template. Super cute. And it includes um, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six countries. USA, UK, Canada, Netherlands, France, and Australia. So, that's cool. Chocolate bunnies. We'll save the sulky conversation for another day other than... Um, Kathy was brilliant to pair this with Sulkies. I love stitching with them. I'm not I'm not saying I won't ever go go back because I love to stitch with silk. I love to stitch with overdyes. I love to stitch I love stitching with one strand of silk. Sulky equals two strands of cotton floss. Um, it's just so much less waste and so much faster. So there there was a sulky collection that goes with this. You don't need them. You can do DMC. Um, and I have more coming on the way. So if you wanted that set, the thing to say about sulky too, um, which I'll, I'll have a whole sulky video another day. So if you're interested, you can get more info. If you're not inter interested, you can not watch, but I just wanted to tell you that if you get the full set of sulky, you get all the colors. So there's not like a special dyed lot specifically for this chart. This chart contains colors of the existing sulky line. So when you see all the little packages for sale on my website, don't feel compelled to buy those in addition to the full set because all of those are collections of colors that are in the full set. Does that make sense? There's no special dyed color like how um, happens to us all the time with charts and over dye floss. That doesn't happen with Sulky because this is the colors they got. The designers can pick out the ones they want and they use it as a collection for their chart. I appreciate that as a consumer. I bought this for myself. This is not on the shop site. I only bought one. Um, this is Swedish mini Santa. He was so stinking cute in real life. The stitching on him was gorgeous. So this uses pre uh, Presencia floss, which I will tell you is real scratchy. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. It's rough. Um, I've never used it before. I did get to pet some while I was there, so I'm going to give it a shot on this chart. Um, it was cost, this was expensive, even at re, at wholesale, but it comes with everything, including the Ada, so it is what it is. I just thought he was so cute. He's so fancy. He's got a pineapple, so I love that. Look at here. Here's a, another outfit. See, it's these letters that I love. 
these letters are Scottishy. These letters, I, am I to assume that they're also Scottish? I don't know. I need to, I need to contact them and ask. Lots of information on the back. I could probably read it and find out, know what I'm talking about. But Mary Queen of Scots. I believe I've seen Lisa Smith do this. Maybe Michelle with the strapped rose. Somebody else was working on this, and I was like, someday I'm going to find it. I'm going to stumble across it. And you know what? It was in the Dinky Dyes room, which really surprised me. But Dinky Dyes distributes um, some charts. So, snagged it. Watch Just Keep Stitching's 80-something uh, video. I don't know. The one where Pam talks about um, her... her um, her and her girlfriend went and did some running around in Franklin and some sightseeing during the day during market. And then they went to Katrina Boyd's retreat in the evening. I could be saying that all wrong, but they went to the Carter house. Um, Pam said that they got the last two fully kitted charts that were there. While Pam was there at the Carter house, seeing this in real life and enjoying the Carter house, I was in the room talking to the ladies about this. Um... And at Cross Stitch Antiques, and she told me that she had literally just gotten a phone call on her cell phone that said, we just sold out of the kits and we need more. So now I know that that was Pam and her friend. Pam, I was in the room when she got the call that you bought the last charts. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I have more of these on order. They're awesome. I love the lettering, guys. It's these letters. Somebody please enlighten me on what, what it is, why I love those. I thought this was cool. Um, lots of really awesome information on these. These are listed on the site. I just like the colors and... Okay, this one, I just got more copies in. I sold out on our live sale. This is all done in green. You can do it whatever color you want. But 100% of the proceeds of the sale of this chart go to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. Yep. So, um, yeah. Let me just read you this a little bit. For many years, Jean Lee, owner of Attic Needlework and Collectibles in Mesa, Arizona, hosted an annual auction to raise money for the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. The auction was such an anticipated event where needle workers from all over the U.S. and many countries outside the U.S. would donate handmade items. Those were then auctioned off both by phone and at live auction. Jean was, of, Jean was, of course, the consummate hostess at these events, providing a buffet and beverages for attendees. 100% of the proceeds from this auction went to Breast Cancer Research Foundation. I don't recall the total number raised by these auctions, but I do remember that one year the total was well over 20000 Jean hosted these for some 20 years, so you can imagine the funds that she was able to raise for such a worthy cause. One of these auctions a few years ago, at one of these auctions a few years ago, I bought an antique sampler donated by GG of GGR Creations. That sampler was Jeanette Hauer. I had originally thought the sampler was French, however, when I took a closer look, I noticed the spelling of Jeanette was off a bit. Thanks to the internet, I learned that this spelling of Jeanette was used in the Netherlands. The idea that this might be a Dutch sampler was further strengthened when I noticed that there was no J in any of the alphabets. Frequently, Dutch and German samplers would omit the J, V, or W. Jeanette's surname, Hauer, is German. So, dear little Jeanette with her siblings, Antony, Johan, and Anna are a bit of a mystery. Are they Dutch? Are they German? Or are they perhaps even Austrian? We may never know, but we can still enjoy her lovely sampler. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yes, so... All the proceeds go to support the Breast Research, Breast Cancer Research Foundation. I love it. So pretty. More letters. This one is totally cool because it's charted exactly as it's shown, as the original. So A, B, part of a C, and then nothing. And then, so there's all this blank space that's left in the chart where um, it can line up to the original. Love that. These were already in my stash from before. They're just... And then, um, I'm sure you heard it on the Instagram feed and saw it on my stories that I about had a flat out heart attack, a literally a little bit of a panic attack when I walked into the Blackbird design room. 
Not because Barb and Alma were there and were amazing, because they were. Um, not because I was surrounded by beautifulness, but because I saw that this book was almost entirely red samplers. As if it was made for me. Will you look at that? So, there's 48 pages in this book. Um, I don't know what which one I'll do first. I can tell you I'm going to use Sulky Threads. Because I just... This, this one... I can do in the same color as this. Same color, same fabric. What do y'all think? Yeah, so I had a moment when I saw this. I was so excited, I'm sure I squealed. So that's it, 45 minutes. I've got to get ready to go to school. I've got to get this video uploaded. Um, if you're still waiting on packages for me, like I said, just know that I haven't forgot you. Feel free to email me and check on anything if you need to, but... Um, that won't get it here any faster from the few people I'm waiting on stuff from. Uh, I think by all accounts, everyone had an outstanding time at market. It was great to meet everybody. I had the best time spending some really good time with Sarah and Robbie and um, making new friends, seeing old ones. Some people, it was just a quick hug and a hello because we were all on the missions um, to bring lovely items back to our shops. Uh, I didn't put a single stitch in. I it was, uh, I mean, obviously, who has time for that, right? It was, it was fantastic. So I'm just about caught up. Like I said, we do have, I do have a whole, I'm looking at it right now, sitting here in my kitchen. I have a whole box of stuff that's waiting on one or two charts here or there. Um, yeah, so thanks so much for supporting me. Thanks so much for being patient. Um, I still like to think that I'm getting stuff out as fast as everyone else. Um, don't forget, I have lots of hands across the sea samplers that I picked up. At, they were shipped to me before market. And I was able to secure copies of the Queen of the May. I was able to see it. I can only tell you that it is not a beginner sampler. It's a very advanced sampler, and it is a stunner. So I can't wait to bring that to you guys soon. Um, yeah, so we'll talk more about uh, hands across the sea and some larger samplers on another video. I'm also going to do a video about Sulky. Um, I don't know when that'll be. I have a trip this weekend with Sarah's final ROTC drill competition. So just as soon as my feet get on the ground a little bit, we'll get all that up. Don't worry. Thanks so much. Love you guys. Have a great week.